Yeah. Hello. I'm Uwe and um, we're, we're gonna do a, a quick run through Clockwork Aquario, uh, a nice little uh, kick platformer. So we, we've got a, a character selection here, we've got Hak Londo, we've got El Moon and we've got Gush, the, the robot, and we're gonna go with El Moon, she's the, the most normal one. Um, Hak Londo kinda runs faster and, and doesn't jump as high, and, and Gush is just really weird. His, his attack has a longer range, um, but he he jumps really weird and he moves forward, forward when he jumps and it's uh, kinda hard to get used to. Anyway, here we go. Um, so yeah, um, Clockwork Aquario is a, an, an arcade platformer. Um, it was originally developed in, in 1992 um, and it was more or less complete as far as I uh, read. Um, but it didn't come out back then, um, and all the, the public knew about it is, is basically just um, a single screenshot in a magazine or something. Um, and then, maybe two years ago, um, it was finally released. Um, you can you can now get it on Switch, on, on PS4, I think. Um, it's planned to be released on, on Xbox and Steam, um, but that's still uh, in, in progress, I guess. Um, we, we've got a, a bunch of, of attack options, we can hop on stuff, we can uh, smack stuff. So here's the first boss already, um, and it's a quick one. Um, most of the bosses can be defeated really quickly, um, but it's also kind of uh, very risky usually. So in this case, for example, I, I'm, I'm bouncing, I have to bounce on the left side of the boss, and, and while it's moving around I have to stay with it and stay on the left side. And also stay in, in, in smacking range, basically. They can get more damage in. Um, and yeah, that's, that's the case for a lot of the bosses. You can get them really quickly, but it's also uh, very risky. It's easy to, to die. Um, I can take one hit without dying. Um, and and that, that happens pretty quickly. Uh, the, the game is pretty short, it, just, it has just five stages. So here you can also kind of see, um, it's got a, a bunch of fun um, movement and attack options. So I, I cannot just hop on stuff, I can also um, hit stuff from below. Oh, cool, it's good. So it's a good hit, but you, you can, if you grab a, a jar, jug of, of cool aid, you can heal again. Uh, here there's an enemy that just drops out of nowhere. <laughs> If, if you don't know that it's coming, it's probably gonna get you. Um, there are two more of these right here. There's one, there's the next one. And that's already the, the end of the second stage. And then there's always these, these balloons, these are just for score. Um, score is, is kind of useful because it, it gives me some extra lives. And here's the, the second boss. It's a little, he's a little bit easier than, than the first one, I, I think. And we're also just bouncing on him. And, um, I don't want, don't want to touch the claws, but other than that I can just bounce on him and, and smack him a bunch. So as, as the, the name kind of uh, hints at, um, Clockwork Aquarius is, is very, uh, on the one hand, kind of kind of clockwork machinery themed, and on the other hand, um, fish and, and aquatic life themed. So all the enemies look like uh, fish and, and, and sea stars and, and stuff like that. Oh. Wanna be a bit careful here? Oh, okay, whatever. <laughs> it's just... So when you die, you can you can uh, choose where you respawn, which can be a useful strat. I, I don't usually use it. Um, I've, I've seen other runs that that uh, waste the life in order to reposition themselves. Ooh, a star! So stars drop randomly, and they they make you invincible, and they also let you let you shoot stars. It's pretty powerful. Um, but yes, as far as I can tell, they, they drop randomly. I, I thought maybe it's um, related to how many enemies you, you hit or something, um, but no, just recently I, I saw that in, in the... basically almost at the start of the first stage you got a star, so that can't be because of enemies. 
Um, the Klingons spawn in, in boss fights, um, which is kind of useful. I mean, most boss fights are already pretty, pretty quick, pretty uh, fast to finish. Next boss. This this boss is a problem. <laughs> there, there are some good strategies to, to get him, but uh, it's always very risky. Hey, there we go. It's uh, oh, okay. One of his, his rockets got me, but um, so yeah. One, one of the good strats is you you kind of bounce up on these rotating mines and, and uh, slap him a bunch while you're doing that. So far so good. I, I haven't needed a, a credit yet. That's good. Um, usually uh, a, a round takes me at least one or two credits. So since um, since this is a console release of an arcade game, um, you you don't really have to pay for the credits, obviously. Um, but the the launcher gives you some some different options. So there's there's easy mode that gives you nine credits, and then uh, normal with five credits and hard with three credits. Um, and th there's no difference other than the, the number of credits you get. So yeah, this this stage is um, kind of an auto scroller, I guess. Um, the the boat we're on says says G H. Um, that's short for Ghost Hunter, which is the the working title uh, for this game, supposedly. Got a star again. Makes things a little bit easier, but this isn't really a, a hard stage or anything. Um, these these gems um, are also for extra life, basically. So you you can see the the one up. Uh, text up there that, that fills up with the gems. Alright, this stage also done. This boss is fairly easy. Question is mostly um, if I can mash him down before he starts moving. And he's done. So for a lot of the bosses, the, the strategy is basically just stand in the right place and, and smack him. Um, this is already the last stage, so we're, we're climbing this this tower here while the water's rising. I'm not gonna not gonna see the water rising really. Usually, we're, we're going too fast for that. Oh, and then I died. Okay, at least I got the enemy quickly. Um, so most stages have these these uh, locked walls, and you have to de defeat a certain enemy, usually a big one, to to unlock the wall. Oh, oh, star! It's not gonna do much good here. Almost at the end of the stage. I could use a Kool Aid though. Anyone wanna wanna drop a Kool Aid maybe? No, I'm not gonna get a Kool-Aid. There aren't any enemies anymore. We're basically at the end of the stage here. Alright, so there's one normal boss left for this stage and then there's the, the final boss of the game. So that boss is done. And down there, the, the final boss awaits. First, we have to deal with the goons. They, they're trying to uh, get us with these bombs. And here's the final boss. Um, and th this fight might be a little bit slower. So he's, he's got these big boxing gloves that you can hit, and he's oh okay, <laughs> he's he's putting these bombs here, and the, the bombs have a huge explosion radius, so I definitely have to get rid of them. Oh crap, another life. Okay, so so far it's still wants to see maybe I, if, if I go a little bit more carefully, uh, we, we can still get a wants to see I guess, which I usually don't go for. But, uh, let's see. So um, I, I can try to, to hit the gloves with the bombs, 
but the, the explosions are so big uh, that it's still kind of dangerous and you can hit yourself and you can bounce on the glove so ideally you can do like two hits on him per, per punch he's doing but then you have to be careful to not get uh, hit by the explosion one more and there we go and I, I think I didn't take any credits oh I should stop the timer there we go that's that's Kyoko get for you it's pretty pretty short um, fairly easy um, but I think it's a lot of fun. Um, you can also play it in co-op. I've never tried that, but uh, I think that has some extra mechanics. Like, I think in, in co-op you can grab the gems and throw them at each other if I if I saw the, the attract mode correctly. to enjoy the sunset. Alright, um, so that's going to be it for me. Um, thank you very much for watching. Thank you Retrothon for having me. Um, definitely stick around for, for more Retrothon action. Next up there's gonna be um, a bunch of runs. Um, of, of cool arcade games by the opponent, um, so that's gonna be pretty great. Um, I'm, I'm very interested in his um, Time Crisis run. So definitely stick around for that. And that's it for me. Bye!